Hello everyone, I'm so excited to see you. Welcome to another 6th grade math drill with Miss Antonia Bain. Let's get started. Let's talk about telling time. Telling time is very important. It can help you determine whether you're running late or whether you have plenty time to spare. It can help you catch a bus or plane on time and allows you to know if you're going to make it to an important event early or late. Hmm, but what is telling time all about? Well, when we look at the clock, we have a small hand or short hand and a big hand or long hand. The small hand points to the hours on the clock. The long hand or the big hand points to the minutes on our clock. When the big hand points to 12, the time is O clock. Here, this clock says that the time is 3 o'clock. But, hmm, what do the numbers represent? Well, when our short hand points to the numbers 1 through 12, they represent the hour that we are in. If our short hand is pointing in between two numbers, we look at the number that it has already passed as our hour. Now, if our long hand is pointing on the numbers 1 through 12, to find out our minutes, we count in five. Count with me, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. That's right, boys and girls, we stop at 60. Why? Because there are only 60 minutes in an hour. Hmm, but how can I tell the time on this clock? Well. We begin by looking at the hour hand. In this example, the hour hand is between 6 and 7. We use the number 6 to represent our hour because the hand has not reached the 7 as of yet. Now let's take a look at our minute hand. To read the minutes, we need to skip count or count by 5. Let's count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. That means that our long hand is indicating 40 minutes. So the correct time is 6.40. What about this? What time is it? Hmm. Look at the long hand and short hand. Yes, boys and girls, it is 5.10. What about this? What time is it? Yes, that's correct. It is 3.30. What about this? What time is it? You guessed it. It is 11.15. Look at this one. What time is it? That's right. It is 12.35. Excellent job, boys and girls. You're doing an awesome job. Let's quickly review our time measurement facts. Make sure you go over your time facts each and every day so that you can be a super duper time teller. This lesson was created by Miss Antonia Bain.